What's up guys, Son of a Boomer here. Today we're talking about the DB15. Let's get to it. Diamondback Firearms was started in 2009 and is based out of Cocoa, Florida. Although they've only been around a short time, they've really made a name for themselves. One of the great things, which I have in front of me, is their budget-friendly AR-15, nicknamed the DB-15 or Diamondback 15. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO or 5.56 by 45 or 223. I've run about, about 700 rounds through this guy so far. And I did have a couple issues early on before I oiled it. <clears throat> but since I've oiled it, this thing has run flawlessly. I've seen zero issues with it. This particular model is the DB15 CC MLB. What does that mean? It's basically their standard budget AR15. Um, the only difference is it comes with some upgraded uh, furniture, such as a Magpul stock, a Magpul grip. Um, right now, I don't have it with me, but it came with a Magpul uh, magazine. So very nice furniture on it, um, all polymer. Between that and the aluminum frame construction, um, both the upper and lower receivers are made of aluminum. It is very light, weighing in about six pounds. Moving on to the barrel, we have a 16 inch barrel with a birdcage flash hider. It's constructed of a 4150 Chrome Molly Vernadium. What does that mean essentially? It means that it is a mil spec barrel. There's nothing super special about it, um, but it gets the job done. It'll last for a long time. It's just not as gonna last as long as say a 4140 barrel. This has a twist rate of one and eight. What that means basically a twist rate is how much barrel it takes um, for the bullet to make a full rotation. So inside most guns, um, inside their barrels, they have something called rifling. Rifling is basically little grooves inside the barrel that grab a hold of the bullet and spin it to stabilize it in its flight. Kind of like a football. When you throw a football, you get that perfect spiral. It stabilizes it, make, makes it more accurate. It's a similar um, concept with bullets. So what does that one and eight twist rate mean? Well, it means it takes eight inches of barrel for a bullet to do a full rotation around um, one and eight on an AR-15 specifically uh, means that it's pretty much an all-purpose kind of barrel you can go to a one and nine or you can go to one and seven depending on that twist rate is going to depend on what kind of ammo you want to use but a one and eight is a good all-around you can use pretty much any type of ammo it's going to be fairly accurate gas system or the gas block up here is a carbine length um, it's pretty standard for most AR-15s also. Trigger is mil spec, also pretty standard. Uh, nothing super special there. You may notice I have a very pronounced charging handle right here. Um, this was added on afterwards. I put it on, it's actually a Zeus brand um, charging handle. The one that was on there was fine. It'll work great. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit more pronounced one to make it easier to get a hold of and shoot, so. So final kind of takes on the a on this DB15. Um, I really like it. It's not a super fancy AR15. There's obviously much more expensive. You can get um, Black Rain. You can get um, Daniel Defense. This is a very good entry level AR. Um, it's not the first one I've shot, but it's the first one I've owned, and it's done everything I've asked it to perfectly well. Other than that pickup that I mentioned at the first time. So make sure. If I was going to advise you to do anything when you first get it, before you take it out, uh, go ahead, pull the thing apart, put a little oil on there, make sure it's all oiled up. It doesn't need a ton, uh, but it, it didn't seem like it came at all, or hardly at all oiled, so make sure there's a little bit in there. Um, it does not come with an optic, so that's something you're going to want to consider also. Make sure that you got money for a good optic. Um, it gives me a smile every time I shoot it. I love it. 
and it's just fun for plinking, it's fun for uh, blowing some stuff up with our binary explosives. We'll have some more videos on that soon. And just an all around great gun. So that's my review. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have one, uh, let me know what your opinions are on it. And we'll see you next time.